The Olympics recently concluded in Tokyo, but the Paralympic Games are scheduled to begin next week. Pierre Nujem joins us now, and Pierre, we have a Minnesotan aiming for gold in Tokyo. Yeah, guys, Chuck Aoki is headed to his third Olympic Games, and he's got some unfinished business to attend to as he hopes to lead the U.S. wheelchair rugby team to Olympic glory. Minneapolis native Chuck Aoki is on his way to Tokyo in hopes of claiming what has eluded him in the past. Our expectation is to come home with a gold medal. As a member of Team USA's wheelchair rugby team, Aoki won bronze in 2012 and silver in 2016, but despite falling short, it's not in his nature to quit. As a child, Chuck noticed his body didn't function in the same manner as other kids, and soon his family would discover that Chuck was suffering from a rare condition called hereditary sensory autonomic neuropathy type 2. In lay people's terms, people often call that congenital insensitivity to pain. I don't have any sensation from my elbows down and from my knees down, and so I, and actually really more like my thighs down. And so that means I don't feel anything. I don't feel hot, cold, pain, or you know anything. Chuck's condition, however, never slowed him down, and when he discovered wheelchair rugby, he was hooked. I got in the chair and. They knocked me around. I went flying to the walls, you know, just everything. And I just, and I fell in love with it right away. Dr. Ann Van Heest of Gillette Children's Specialty Healthcare oversaw much of Chuck's journey as a child and says to see how far he's come is inspirational to those who suffer from similar cases. Chuck is really just one of those great personalities that um, really embraced his sports participation. And I'm so excited about hearing that he's going to be in the Paralympics in. Japan, and we're just so proud of everything that he's done. The road to Tokyo wasn't easy, but Chuck was built tough from the get-go. He was forced to overcome physical hurdles that helped mold him into the three-time Olympian he is today, and Chuck says conquering those hard times has made the journey all the more sweet. There's certainly challenges growing up that way. You're not like everybody else. You have to figure out how you fit in to the world, but once I figured out how I fit into the world, it was just off to the races. Chuck and the Americans will open tournament play against New Zealand. And what makes these Olympics a little extra special is Chuck comes from Japanese ancestry. And he says if he can win a gold medal in Japan, that would certainly be a memory to last a lifetime. BC Randy.